Good morning, beautifuls. Okay, so this morning I'm going to be reading from God's Promises for Every Day, okay? Um, we're going to be reading Jesus is Your Brother. So, but before I do start, I want to go ahead and read some of these cards to you guys, okay? So, the first one I have here is Prince of Peace. Sar Shalom. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Forgive me if I'm not. The scripture is Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. It is written, He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Amen. So in the back of these cards, there's a prayer, okay? So the prayer is, Lord, I long after your peace in my life. You are the Mighty God and Prince of Peace. Grant me peace that surpasses understanding. In Jesus' holy name, amen. And I have this other one over here for you guys. Okay, this one is Alpha and Omega. Alpha. I think that's okay. Alpha, Chi, Omega. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Scripture for this one is Revelation 20, chapter 22, verse 13. It is written, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, and the beginning and the end. Okay? And the prayer for this one is, Alpha and Omega, you are my beginning and my end. I praise your holy name. Amen. Okay, guys, so those of you who are new to my channel, I'm reading from Praying the Names of God. And these cards come with 50 cards that comfort and bless your heart as you pray and memorize the wonderful names of God. And you can pick that up at CVS. So far, that's the only place I've seen it at, but I'm pretty sure you can probably order them from online or find them other places. But I've been purchasing those from cbs um so far that's the only place i've seen it so far but um they're super cheap 4.99 i mean um, it's a great tool you can use to sow seeds into other people's lives help draw them nearer and closer to god and also you know sow seeds to your family friends strangers who we will the goal is to make a long life friends through jesus christ and the topic today that we're going to be going over is Jesus is your brother. And we're going to be emphasizing a little bit more on what Jesus, um, how he views us. Okay, guys. So I'm going to show you one more card. And then the other, and I have four more cards, but I'll share those four at, towards the ending of the video. Amen. Amen. All right. So this one I have here is living God. I'll oh my gosh forgive me guys okay because when you're praying the name of names of god on these cards there's um the hebrew name for it okay forgive me it's backwards because i stay using my phone now but this one is l sorry l shay c h a y anyways living god scripture is jeremiah chapter 10 10 it is written the Lord is a true God. He is the living God and the eternal King. Amen. So the prayer for that one, guys, is, Lord, please watch over me and hear me when I cry out to you. You alone are the living God. Amen. Amen. Right, guys, you guys need to know, okay, that the Lord loves you and he wants to establish all the good works and all the beautifulness that is within you. He wants to establish you, okay? And in order to work within you, for you, and through you, you need to have your heart, mind, everything, your foot aligned with him so he can move, move you and put you in places where other people will be like, I cannot believe they, they see the transformation in you. They look at you, you're your new creation. Amen. And that's all, all through the grace of God. Amen. It's all because of what Jesus Christ has done for us, for you. People witnessing and seeing the new transformation. You are a new creation. You are a new creation in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You alone did not do it yourself. There's nothing that you have done is Jesus Christ, what is, he has done for you. Amen. And what he'll continue to do for you until the 
for eternity, okay? Because it's the Alpha and the Omega, amen? I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, in the beginning and the end. That is Revelation chapter 22, and or chapter 22, verse 13, amen? So, for those of you who are new to my channel, I just want to let you guys know that, I, I mean... Oh, my goodness, forgive me. I just want to let you guys know that, you know, I do have um, dyslexia, yeah, so I'm dyslexic. So sometimes when I pronounce certain words, um, they don't sound right or I have a hard time pronouncing it and I just can't get my mouth to make the sound. So forgive me, okay, guys, and just bear with me, yeah, and um, I don't let my dyslexia stop me from sharing the gospel of peace, okay? So if you have anything that is hindering you and you think you can't share the word because you ain't a certain way and you know what i mean you don't have to be like anybody else the lord wants you to be who you are let him work you and mend you into what he sees for you and not what you think you're supposed to be okay because you're not supposed to be following and walking like nobody else but walking the path that the lord has set your foot on okay and remember that the lord is your lamp to your feet god's word will feed your spirit so share God's word, okay? And you need to get to know God's word for yourself as well. Study, read, soak them in. Let your heart, let the word marinate in your heart. Let the Lord do what he needs to do, okay, guys? Because the transformation that he is about to make into your life, all that grace and all that glory, all to the Heavenly Father. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. So let's get started on this section, okay? So we'll be going over, Jesus is your brother. So the first scripture I have here is Matthew chapter 12 verse 50 is written my true brother and sisters and mother are those who do what my father in heaven wants amen amen okay so do keep in mind okay I'm gonna let you guys know that um, when I'm reading from God's promises for every day this is the new century version okay and if you like reading from the King James version you can still all these scriptures will be in the drop box below. You can still go ahead and view these scriptures in whatever version that you're looking up, okay? And if you're having a hard time finding them, you can just go ahead and Google and go search and it should pop up, okay? So um, don't let nothing um, stop you, hinder you, or basically the devil is a liar. So don't listen to him, okay, guys? Even though I get dyslexia, even though I'm dyslexic and I get a hard time reading, and I get a hard time sounding out certain words and I get... I stumble I don't I don't let that stop me from sharing God's word because I believe in him that even though some people care some people might be like oh if you believe in the Lord and if the Lord is is really a God then why why doesn't he help you speak properly amen he does but then also he allows some of my flaws shine through that's to encourage others you see what I'm saying but the Lord is doing wonderful works within me and he see that I do not stop and put myself down because I say it wrong or I pronouncing it not the proper way, but at least I trying and making effort. And the Lord can do a lot with someone who's a making effort and for someone who is trying. Amen. Amen. Because stumbling on my words and pronouncing them wrong is not really a big deal. But to some people, I know something that small can hold them back. Yeah. I used to be afraid of speaking in front of crowds. I think I kind of am, maybe not afraid, but I'm, I get nervous at first. But then once I warm up, I'm good to go. Like right now, today, I'm doing videos. Before, when I first started, I was uncomfortable talking to the camera because I felt like I was talking to myself. But on the real, real, all day long, I am talking to myself because my thoughts and all this. But there's so much that I, I have within me that I know I need to share. And what is within me is not mine. This is from the Lord. Amen? Amen. And God wants us to share all the gospel, all the good news, all the beautiful things that he has done within our life. He wants us to share our testimony. He wants us to be a person that he and create us to be. He wants us to stand firm on his promises. Amen? And that's what I'm sharing with you guys today. And I'm reading from God's promises for every day. So the scripture I just went over was Matthew chapter 12, verse 50. Oh my Lord, my mouth is salivating again. It's going to be a juicy video. Amen. Watch until the end, guys. Okay? Hebrews chapter 2, verse 11 is written. Jesus. Oh, okay. Jesus who makes people holy. 
and do those who are made holy are from the same family so he is not ashamed to call them his brothers and sisters amen amen jesus is not afraid to call you his brother and his sister okay because if you're doing the will of the father he can you are a part of his family okay you belong to him amen amen we need to be treating one another like we are family because basically we are guys okay we are get get your get your everything in order and how you gonna do that how you gonna get everything in order okay you know you can get everything in order on your own you need the lord to help you get everything in order okay let the lord order your steps for you amen be be so relaxed and chill that when the Lord come in for work within and through you, you are able to just flow with what the Lord has in store for you and for others. Because remember, the Lord can use anyone. Anyone. The Lord can work through anyone, guys, okay? No matter what they have done, the Lord can use anybody. Okay, guys? Because I'm, I'm far from perfect, guys. Far from it. There's not one that is perfect. If you feel a calling in your heart to start a ministry, amen, go do it in the name of Jesus Christ. If you feel it in your heart to start your business in the name of Jesus Christ, go ahead and do it. Because he wants you to be prosperous. He wants you to prosper. But you know what? Prosperity doesn't only come in money form, okay? The most valuable asset out there in this whole entire world, not even going to say asset. The most valuable thing in the world is love, okay, guys? You cannot buy love, okay? And you cannot buy Jesus Christ's love because his love is free. It's a free gift, okay? God will make a way for us, and that way is Jesus, amen? Our only way, our salvation, amen. Jesus is your brother. Remember that, guys, okay? All right, so we're now going to go over Romans chapter 8, verse 29. It is written, God knew them before he made the world. Amen. And he decided that they would be like his son so that Jesus would be the firstborn of many brothers. Amen. So Jesus is the firstborn of many brothers, right? Okay. So that was Romans chapter 8 and through um, chapter 8, verse 29. Sorry, guys. I'm so excited over here. My lips is going ahead. All right. So the next one I have here is Galatians chapter 3, verse 26 to 27. Is written, you were all baptized into Christ. And so you were all clothed with Christ. Clothed with Christ. This means that you are all children of God through faith in Christ Jesus. Amen. We are all children. We are all children. We are all God's children, guys. Okay. Jesus is your brother. So God knew them before he made the world. God knew you before he made this world. Amen. Amen. And he decided that they would all be like his son. Amen. To Jesus. Amen. And Jesus is the firstborn. Okay. Jesus is the firstborn of many brothers. So what does that say here in Romans 8 chapter 29? So that Jesus would be the firstborn of many brothers, meaning that there are many brothers and sisters, okay? And that many is I, you, and everybody else who's watching this video that knows that Jesus Christ is their Lord and their Savior, amen? And even the ones who don't know, that's why we share the good news, okay, guys, so that they can get to know all the blessings that is in store for them. And it's not you the one going to show them to them all fully. Just sow the seed and let the Lord cover them because don't underestimate the seeds that you sow into your own life, into your neighbor's life, into your family's life, into a stranger's life. And remember that your stranger is basically like your neighbor. Okay? So just view everybody, regardless of what you see. You cannot judge people, okay, guys? You cannot judge people of what you hear, you see, and what you think about them, okay? Because we all have our ups and our downs, okay? And none of us is perfect. And that's why we needed Jesus Christ, amen? Amen. So no matter what you're going through, persevere and push forward, okay? Seek 
first the kingdom of God and everything else will come to you. Like everything else will be added to you in the name of Jesus, okay? Because the Lord already has made the way, guys, okay? The Lord has made the way. Okay. So, what was over? Galatians. Oh, wait. Did I just... I think when I read the other scripture, okay, I'm so sorry. Let me just continue, okay? So Galatians chapter 3, verse 26 to 27. I know I read that one. So you were all baptized into Christ, okay? So we all were baptized into Christ. So you were all clothed with Christ, okay? This means that you are all children of God through faith in Christ Jesus. Keyword, faith, okay? And very important to know that it's through Christ Jesus and not what you do okay guys it's not what you do it's already what has been done and what has already been done is been done through christ jesus amen amen okay let's go over john chapter 1 verse 12 okay it is written but to all who did accept him and believe in him have gave the right to become children of god amen Amen. Let's help go spread the word, the good news, so that they all can receive this right to become children of God. Amen. Amen. It's very important, guys. Okay? Share the good news with everyone. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Side, side. Forgive me. Be right back. Let me just put the phone head off. Okay, I swear, my animals, they always want to do all kinds of stuff when I start doing my video, amen. But that ain't going to stop me, I'm going to carry on in the name of Jesus, okay. So, but to all who did accept him and believe in him have gave the right to become children of God, okay. And that was John chapter 1, verse 12, okay. Key words over here accept him believe in him okay and he god has given them the right to become children of god amen amen all through jesus right so john chapter 1 verse 12 okay let's go over ephesians chapter 2 verse 19 it is written now you who are not jewish are not foreigners or strangers any longer Bro, get in now. Get in now. Knock it off. Forgive me. We're going over Ephesians chapter 2, verse 19. It is written. Now you. Hoi, hoi. Sammy son. Oh my gosh. Everybody's like super hyper this morning. Please don't We're going to carry on and persevere because I'm telling you, we about life. We can't, we can't let nothing stop us. The Lord wants us to persevere through it all, gang, okay? Because we're going to get people going to come in your way. We're going to have situations that could happen in your life that you cannot control. This is one good example. Like, I cannot control my dogs from start barking sometimes because there's stuff going on out there, okay? And I have no idea what's going on outside, but my dogs are going cray cray. But I'm going to continue, okay? So we're going over Ephesians chapter 2, verse 19. So it is written, Now you who are not Jewish are not foreigners or strangers any longer, but are citizens together with God's holy people. You belong to God's family. Amen. Claim that, guys. You've been baptized through Christ. You have been clothed by Christ. You have a, sal a salvation. Okay, that's your salvation. Jesus Christ is your salvation. He is your savior. He loves you. Okay, guys, get to know God's word for yourself so you can share the good news with knowing and believing in your heart yeah. to be true. Okay, guys, don't let nothing stop you. Don't let 
any of your okay see if you get if you depressed don't let your depression get you down pray to the lord help ask him to deliver you from your depression amen boom you get anxiety push through and pray and cry out to the lord spend time with the lord and he will help you and push through anything and if you think you don't have the voice to speak oh boo, get ready because he will give you he will give you everything that you ask for and then some and he will deliver them in ways that you have never thought could ever be possible and that's how when people will recognize the transformation in you and that right there guys when you're sharing your testimony on what the lord has done for you people gonna see people gonna see trust me i know people already can see my family, they let me know. Oh, wow, big transformation. I was shy, but I'm not done, boo. I'm not done. The Lord is still working in me. Amen? Amen. And I don't want the Lord to ever be done. And if I be done, I want it to be because we're all united in one. Because we're all what? One body in Christ. Amen? We're all brothers and sisters, guys. Get to know what the Lord says about you. Don't believe all the lies from the devil, okay? Don't believe because the devil is alive. He wants to kill, steal, and destroy your peace and your joy. Nah, homie, you can't have that because I belong to him. I belong to the Lord. Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. I belong to him. Amen. He made the way for me. Amen. Amen. Okay. So Ephesians chapter 2 verse 19. Now you are... Now you who are not Jewish are not foreigners or strangers any longer. Amen. Remember when I say that like, you share the gospel of peace with strangers and the goal is to make them long life friends through Jesus Christ, right? So when you share the gospel of peace and then when they receive it into their hearts, they are now children of God and they are brothers and sisters. Amen. 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 Okay. So now let's. Go on over. Excuse me. Open. Oops. Okay, my table is looking crazy right now because my dog just went knock my coffee over, barking like a cray cray. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna go over. Oh, I can put the camera down now. Okay. So now we're gonna go over First John chapter three verse one. It is written. The Father has loved us so much that we are called children of God and we really are His children. The reason the people in the world do not know us is that they have not known Him. Amen. Amen. You need to know, guys. You need to know, okay? You need to know. You need to know who you are through Jesus Christ. Amen. Seek first the kingdom of God. Everything else will be added to you. Amen. Okay. So, that was 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. The Father has loved us so much that we are called children of God. And we really are His children. The reason the people in the world do not know us is that they have not known Him. That was 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. Okay, moving on. We're going to go to Galatians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. It is written, Since you are God's children, God sent the, what, the Spirit of His Son into your hearts. And the, spirits, the Spirit cries out, Father, so now you are not a slave. You are God's child. And God will give you the blessing He promised because you are His child. Amen. Amen, guys. That was Galatians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. Okay, so since you are God's children, God has spent the Spirit. And what is that? The Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of His Son to dwell in our hearts, to guide us, to help us, to, so we can walk and live in the way that the Lord has set for us. Amen. Because we cannot do it on our own. You can't do you can't do none of this on your own, okay guys. Okay. You cannot do it on your own. You need the Lord. The Lord. 
make the way for you okay lord make the way for you amen and the spirit cries out father so now you are not a slave you are god's child and god will give you the blessings he promised why god gonna give you the blessings he promised because we know i know and if you don't know please get to know that god keeps all his promises amen amen because you are his child that's why he gonna he gonna give you the blessings he promised but god keeps all his promises okay all right guys that was galatians chapter 4 verse 6 to 7. now we're gonna go over romans chapter 8 verse 14 okay it's written the true children of god are those who let god's spirit lead them amen walk in his spirit guys okay how are we gonna walk in his spirit we let the holy spirit lead us okay we go into prayer we ask right we seek yeah we study we find out what god is saying about us so that way we can do the will of the father if we don't know okay how you gonna know if you don't know if you don't know you don't know and how you gonna get to know you gotta seek you gotta ask you gotta knock you gotta go find out okay guys not only just incline your ear and be like okay that's how that's the only way i'm gonna get to know god is i'm just gonna watch videos and that's it i'm not gonna study i'm not gonna i'm not nothing i'm just gonna listen to whoever is preaching you got to go and you, you need to pray. Prayer is very important. Okay, guys. Because that's you talking to him. That's you building up that relation, personal connection and relationship with the Lord. Okay, because that's very important. That's the number one thing. Okay, guys. So, why are you studying God's word? Also, pray to him and ask him to give you ears to hear. Okay, eyes to see. And if you got to go speak to someone or you want to go share with someone, you pray and you ask the Lord for be for help you with the words to come out. Amen. Amen. Whatever you ask of him, he will bless you with it. He says, God will give you the bless, blessings he promised. Amen. And he always keeps his promises. Okay, guys. And the true children of God are those who let God's spirit lead them. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. Walk in his spirit. Walk by faith and not by sight. Amen? Because that's what that means. Walk by faith and not by sight. Okay? And be a doer and not just a hearer of God's word. Okay? Do what God has commanded you to do. Okay? Allow him to breathe that life into you. Okay? Because he is. <sighs> he is. Amen? He's the Alpha and the Omega. Okay, guys? I am the Alpha and the Omega. I'm the first, the last, the beginning, and the end. Okay, and that is Revelation 22, 13. We'll read this prayer one more time. Alpha and Omega, you are my beginning and my end. And I praise your holy name. Amen. Come on, guys. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and this last scripture for you. This one is 1 John chapter 3, verse 2. It is written... Dear friends, now we are children of God, and we have not yet been shown what we will be in the future. But we know that when Christ comes again, we will be like him, because we will see him as he really is. Amen. 1 John chapter 3, verse 2. Amen. Okay. So dear friends, now we are children of God. We have not yet been shown what we will be in the future right but we know that when christ comes again we will be like him because we will see him as he really is and that was first john chapter 3 verse 2 okay guys all right that whole all those scriptures i just read to you guys okay was going over Jesus is your brother, okay? And I was reading from God's promises for every day. And this is the new century version. And like I mentioned earlier, 
you can go ahead and read your King James um, King James Version or any version that you have. You go ahead and you find all the scriptures that I just went over with you in the Dropbox below. And you can go ahead, highlight it, go study it, soak them in, let the bugger marinate in your heart. And when you when you get them down and everything like that, you pray. Pray. Keep praying. Keep studying. Okay? Because you can read the same scripture. Okay? Maybe you can read them last year, this scripture. You, you read them last year. But the Lord would show you something, what was going on with you last year. Well, guess what? You're not the same individual you was last year. You're not the same individual you was six months ago. You, you're not the same individual who was a month ago, a week ago, okay? Two days ago. Come on, guys. When you are led by the Holy Spirit, He moves you. You leveling up, boo. Leveling up. People not going to recognize you. Give the Lord your heart for everything so the lord can fill you up people not gonna recognize you but they're gonna be in awe amen they're gonna be in awe because they're gonna see your light shining and the light is jesus christ that's his light that's his love shining upon you and within you and around you amen Praise the Lord. Sing to Him. Everything that you can think, anything that you, you want to do, dedicate it to Him. Amen? Amen. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go and um, share with you guys the other cards that I have. So I have four here, okay? So the first one I have here is, The Lord is peace. And in Hebrew, it is, <coughs> Yahweh Shalom. Okay? Forgive me, guys, for this barking. Maximo. Sun, sun. The scripture is judge, Judges. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Chapter 6, verse 24. It is written. So Gideon built an altar to the Lord there and called it the Lord is peace. So the Lord is peace in Hebrew is Yahweh Shalom. And the prayer behind this one is, Lord, I long for peace that only you can give. Help me to wait patiently for your shalom. Amen. Okay? And the Lord is your true peace. Okay, guys. All right. So this next one I have here is servant. Oh, my goodness. Forgive me, Lord. I have no idea how to... I don't even know what letter that is. I'm sorry, guys. But um, I'll try and spell this bug out for you folks. So servant, and then in Hebrew it's, I think that's an E. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, E B E D. Okay, servant. Anyhow, scripture is Mark chapter ten, verse forty-five. It is written, "For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve." And to give his life as ransom for many. Okay. The Lord has given his life for ransom for many. For you, me, everybody. Okay. Everybody. So this, the um, prayer behind this one is, Lord, make me a servant of others. I don't always like to serve, but help me to be more like you. I want to serve and not be served. In the name of Jesus, amen. Okay, guys. All right. So this next one I have over here for you is Strong Tower. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm only laughing because this Hebrew, this, oh, my gosh. It's not, oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm going to try my best to spell it. Okay, guys. So, Strong Tower. It's M-I-G-D-A-L. And then it has a dash. And I believe that's an O. Let me try to see. Yeah. O-Z. Mig- uh, Mig- oh, I don't, I'm not even going to try. Okay. Strong Tower. So the scripture for that one is Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. It is written, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. Amen. Amen. Okay, 
Yeah, the prayer for this one is, Thank you, Lord, that you are my strong tower. I can safely hide in you. Amen. Yes, guys, be hidden in Christ. Amen. So the next one I have over here is Light of the World. This, oh my gosh, the Hebrew one for this one is, I don't even know what letter that is. Okay, I'm not even going to try, but I'm going to say the scripture for you, okay? So this one is Light of the World. John chapter 8, verse 12, it is written, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Amen? Amen. So the prayer for this one is, Jesus, I want to follow in your light. Help me to move from the darkness and into your marvelous light. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, these cards right here, you can get it from CVS. They have scripture, the names of the names of God on top with the um the Hebrew, the Hebrew name for it. Okay, in the back there's prayers. You can give these as gifts. You can sow seeds within your community, your family, your ohana, your friends, strangers, everybody. Okay, you can give these out so they can get to know. Or you can keep them for yourself. Use this. This is a great tool to use to study to get get to know more and more and draw near and closer to the lord okay not only just knowing the names but also getting to know what he thinks and what he's got to say about you and what he's doing for you and all all concerning the lord so you guys need to seek keep searching keep asking keep knocking and if you're going to seek seek the lord if you're going to ask ask the lord okay guys if you're going to knock the Lord is the one that's going to answer. Okay, guys? Just know that the Lord loves you so much. God loves you. Jesus already made the way, guys. Okay? Go ahead and study God's word for yourself. Share this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Share God's word with everybody. Okay, guys? With everybody. Okay? And remember, Jesus is your brother. Amen? Amen. You guys have a beautiful, blessed day. And may this, this message nourish your root. Okay, guys? Amen. You guys have a good day. Bye.